uh, quickly, Fatima. Yeah. What is your immediate reaction to the fact that uh, your country mm -hmm. wins this year's honor? Well, the first reaction was that it was normal, it was joy. And then it was a sense of honor, a sense of pride, because I see it not only as a recognition of what President Pierce has done to empower Cape Verdeans, to, to, uh, to work for the development of our country, but I see it also as an honor for the Cape Verdeans in general, for the Cape Verdean people, and I would dare say to Africa. Uh, because he has not been working not only for Cape Verde but also for Africa. Mm -hmm. As you may know, he was one of the freedom fighters that fought for the liberation of Cape Verde under the leadership of Amilcar Cabral. And you know that the vision of Amilcar Cabral and, they, and their colleagues was to help to free Africa from colonial yoke, but also to create the conditions for Africa to develop economically and to empower uh, the African people. And what uh, President Pierce has been doing after the independence is essential this. He has been working not only as Prime Minister but also as President of the Republic to empower the Cape Verdeans, to create conditions for them to, ac to have access to education but also to decent jobs and to create opportunities to, for economic growth and also to create legal conditions for Cape Verde to be a friendly country, a friendly country in terms of investment. Mm -hmm. And we are seeing the outcome of his efforts right now. The committee chair of the Mo Ibrahim Award, uh, Salim Ahmed Salim uh, from Tanzania, said uh, of Pedro as uh, a man of humility and personal integrity. That's true. That's quite true. That's quite true because he's really not, not only he's a man of integrity, but he's a very humble man, a very simple man. A man that uh, has put all his energy at the service of Cape Verde, a man that uh, has accepted the verdict of the, of the people when he lost the election and accepted the result and stayed calmly, uh, said, okay, I lost the, 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 the election, mm -hmm. and then I will accept the results and continue to work for the development of Cape Verde because being in the position is also important. How did he resist the pressure from some of his colleagues uh, to do what some call, uh, you know, shift the political constitutional goal post so that he could hang on to power? Well, actually, uh, as I said, since the very beginning, he has the sense of what was most important for Cape Verde. And most important for Cape Verde was to create the condition for a smooth democracy to take place in the, in the country and to create the condition for the inclusion of everyone, for the participation of every Cape Verdean in the development of the country. Mm -hmm. So for us it was very important and it's why we uh, the government and himself and, the, and his, and his uh, colleagues decide that uh, we would have to put a uh, um, a limit on the mandates of the president and so the constitution now uh, defines the limit as, as two terms only and after the two terms um, as uh, happened uh, recently he well, he passed over the, 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 the baton to the new president and he's there and he's ready to continue to work for Cape Verde as he has already said.